If there was only one MVP in baseball this year, who would you pick? Only one MVP in baseball? Yeah. Could tell Marte. <laughs> Wait, so <laughs> hold on a second. No judge, no Tani, you go Marte. Okay, no, nah, but uh, okay, I'm going to say this. I'm going to make an argument for Cattell Marte right now as far as M- National League MVP. If the if the Diamondbacks don't have Cartel Marte, they are nowhere near where they are in the in, in the standings. Which to me is true, Matt. It's true, most valuable player, not best player. The best player is Otani and Judge. Most valuable, and that's why I think it's lost a lot in this. Most valuable, and the, the the Diamondbacks. He is top three in almost every single category. Here's the problem. Uh, top one is Otani in every category. Number two is Ozuna in every category. Ozuna, I would actually say, has a better argument than Cartel Marte. Uh, Mattel, oh my God. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> Cartel Ozuna, Marte. Thank you. Marcel Ozuna is, is the true MVP of the league right now. Is the true MVP of all of baseball right now. And we all want to hate it. We all want to disagree with it. But when you look at the numbers and you look at what what is holding the Atlanta Braves together, without him, they are 10 games out right now. They're they're not even close to the playoffs. With him, they're the playoff team. Without uh, without Judge, the Yankees are still probably a playoff team. Without Otani, the Dodgers are still a playoff team. That's the problem, is most valuable. Without Ozuna, the Braves are nowhere, nowhere near the playoffs. The The Diamondbacks would be out of the playoffs, but the Braves would be so far out, they'd be dismantling the team. They would You would be talking about the Braves as a complete dismantle. Now, with them, they are the third spot in the playoffs, and, and, and without a doubt, um, Way better and much better team with than without him. That Otani is the best player, and, and Judge is the best player of the year. Um, so I still give it to Judge. Um, I would say if I'd pick one, it's Judge. But um, Otani's a close two. I don't care what Otani does. It's Judge's award right now to lose. If Judge stops right now and Otani keeps keeps going, it's Otani. But Otani, I mean, again, great. The stolen base is wonderful. But a judge is judge is judge is the best player right now in, in baseball, or just judge is having the best season in baseball. Tony's the best player in baseball, and then you go down the list. The most valuable player is, is Marcelo Zuna. Okay, I'll see your Marcelo Zuna, and I will raise you a Bobby Witt Jr. Great, I love it. That's the only other person I, I'd, I'd argue with that. And and Bobby Witt, Bobby Witt Jr. without the Royals um having him would be the same place the Braves would be would just be floundering and I I completely agree with you and I'm completely hijacking your entire argument here but I I love it and I actually put a bet uh about three weeks ago that the Royals would win the Central and they were the third place team in the Central at that time and I'm like they are coming and they're coming hard and the the, sorry (laughs) anyways but the Twins and uh, the Guardians are are fading fast compared to how the Royals and Bobby Witt Jr. particularly is doing. And I will give you that. And I will and I will I will completely give you that from an American League standpoint. The MVP is probably Bobby Witt Jr. Uh, from National League standpoint, it is Marcel Ozuna or Cattell Marte with Otani in a third place. If you actually gave a crap about what the word of the the award is. See, there's one guy, and I'm not doing this because I'm a Met fan, but I will say there's one guy that you haven't mentioned at all. Lindor. Thank you. Absolutely. And Lindor still is a fourth in, in all those stats outside of hits. And the same time with hits, he's had like something like 15 more games than both those guys. So, so there's or, or whatever. There's He's played. He's had so many more at-bats. So many more bats, and the only stat that he, he is with those guys above them is hits. And if you just take out those bats, he doesn't have the amount of hits that those other players have. So to me, it's it's, it's he has been a, a great player, and it, he is the Mets MVP without a doubt. But I'd say this: until you get to the playoffs, you're not the most valuable yet, and you're just the you're the best valuable of the rest of the teams. You know that he's got a higher F WAR than uh, than Otani. I mean, F for my ass. <laughs> um, 
no, no. Just, and I'll give you that. And again, there's ways to look at it without a doubt. And I'm a big fan of war because it, it takes out a lot of the BS. We still, I still don't necessarily agree with all of how war works. Yeah. But if you take it out, uh, if you look at it with without a doubt, it's it's there. And now you look at some of the because of how much defensively he he brings to the game, but. Without him, I still think they're a fourth place team. And they're a fourth place team. Do you know that no player in history has ever gone back to back 30 30 seasons? And there's a possibility that this year we will have two Lindor and Bobby Witt. Really? There's never been 30. You're telling me Ricky Henderson. Ricky don't hit 30 home runs, 30 stolen base two years in a row? Nah, (laughs) Ricky don't, don't hit no home run like that. Ricky, you don't hit a home run like that? I think Ricky, Ricky just hit a bunch of 20s. Sorry. Ricky didn't hit home runs like that because Ricky didn't feel like hitting home runs. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably it, to be honest. Ricky's like, no, I want to get on first base. <laughs> I had to take that ball, I had to hit it off the wall and just stop it first. So I can get yep. second and third and maybe even home. 